You're such a bitch. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? T. Uh, <laughs> and you're mocking me? <laughs> I no, can't I'm believe saying, it. I'm episode three, this is the last episode you're yeah. ever getting. Cut the camera. Don't let doubt enter your mind. Seek and ye shall find. Hit it hard like a bad girl. Power on. Hit it hard like a bad girl. Get it done. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Free the Few Agree. Yes, episode three. Can you believe we're already at episode three? I feel like I've aged 70 years. Maybe I'm Britney Spears. One, two, three. <laughs> anyway, I'm Nick. I'm Julian. And we're so, so happy to have you here. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget, if you want to watch us, if you want to get a little visual, uh, subscribe to Past Your Bedtime on YouTube so you can see all of our episodes. And if you're listening, you can find us anywhere that podcasts are streamed. But I highly recommend watching watching on YouTube as if you're listening right now, you don't see that I am butt naked, mm -hmm. fully oiled up doing belly rolls and the splits. It's amazing. And I'm in a parka praying. So, you know, you could just see something completely random when you join in. There's also like 70 men staring at us right now. It's kind of wild. Yeah. They're waiting for us to be done. Yeah. They're going to finish us. Speaking of men. <laughs> <laughs> there's no men here. I, yeah, there's, there's no men here. I mean, there are, there are two beautiful men sitting yes. at the table. How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm no. single. No. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that about yeah, me? Yeah, I'm learning just now. Uh, it is insane to me that someone like you is single, but I think that's just a, that just shows what the landscape is out there right stop. now. Stop. I. You know what? I'm pretty picky. I don't want to blame it all on anybody. You should else. be picky. I think everyone should. All of you should be picky. Yes. Be picky. Don't settle. Never settle. Unless it's for one of us. Yeah. Um, but you wouldn't be settling. No, no, no. You'd be winning. <laughs> yeah, Avi. Yeah, but no. I think it's. I think it's been an interesting. It's been an interesting year for love and and lust and whatnot. Well, tell me about your love because you are in a committed relationship. I'm in a committed relationship. Let the trades know. Um, yes, I'm with a with a wonderful man who has basically the same name that I do. Uh, we're Nick and Nico. So cute, kind of weird. But love we you, love Nico. It. We love you, Nico. Shout out. Uh, no, I'm with a wonderful, wonderful guy. But took a lot of work. To get there, let mm. me tell you. But no, we had we had a really cute, easy. He he is. We're doing long distance right now. You know, tire screech. Oh yeah. my god, who who knew that I would be doing that now? Um, <laughs> but no, no, we're we're uh, so we did like a long distance Facetime date. You know, sat in front of the computer. He's three hours ahead. He's at school right now. At a school, I'm not going to say the name, but it rhymes with Yale. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no, we had a, we had a cute little long distance Facetime, which was nice. Cute. But, yeah, I can't imagine going back to school. No, no, no. I, I would die. It's so funny. I read a tweet the other day that said, you know, um, long distance couples will always be like, I can't wait. To to see you and then they'll wait <laughs> which is kind of exactly what's going on with us i literally think like going back to school and like taking a test on something that i've learned mm -hmm. i don't know if i would be able to pass but can you imagine picking up a ti-84 what calculator oh. <laughs> yeah, Texas oh, instrument? Like, yeah a yeah. dinosaur <laughs> <laughs> yeah no um it's the calculator that did you never use that like brick calculator that you could like murder someone with i think i had one but all i used it for was to spell boobies right. like when it's yeah. like five yeah. three yeah. one eight yeah. zero zero eight i yeah i would play like games on mine it also was so expensive and every single year they'd be like a new one but you could cheat on them too because you yes. could type letters yes. on them yeah, yeah 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 i did do that you could write you could write in the Pythagorean theorem. I mean, I swear to God, if someone asked me to do anything math-wise, and by the way, I was pretty good at math. I was in like Calc A, B, B, C. <laughs> before <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I took math before Christ existed. Word, dude. Yeah. No, but- um, That Botox no, was, is doing good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mama's, mama's pushing 4,000. <laughs> uh, no, but um, no, school sounds terrible. But anyway, how was your Valentine's Day? It was just chill? It was good. Actually, we- shot videos and mm. photos for right. our podcast, Breathe If You Agree, that you're listening to right now. You're here with us. So I got to be with you, which mm -hmm. was incredible. Yeah. And the amazing brat team. Yeah. Um, so that was a really special day for me. But then I went home and I ordered Chipotle. It was my third day in a row having <laughs> Chipotle. <laughs> Maybe if that's not if that's the proper way to celebrate Valentine's Day, that's how I want to do it. Well, I you know I celebrate ba Valentine's Day by getting a burrito bowl. That I was like, oh maybe I will like get on an app or like you know like find Postmates somebody or like a date. Oh, yeah. Well. I mean, you could find love on Uber Eats or Postmates. Honestly, <laughs> do you ever, I always see sometimes like if Look my delivery person is hot, hot yeah. I'm always like, oh, 
I usually say leave it outside, but <laughs> if you're hot, inside. I want to be like, oh my gosh, like, yeah. hey, hey, my toilet's broken. Can you come fix it? <laughs> but usually I look horrible. Yeah. So I usually just. I'm never getting go. dressed up to meet my Uber Eats driver at the door. No, but now they started taking those pictures. So now I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I have to serve. Literally, literally, every single time, every single time they take a picture, I'm like, ready? Three, two, one. Did you yeah. get it? Yeah, did you get let it? Me, Wait, take it again. Let me see yeah, it. Let me it see again. it. Let me see it. Wait, can you send that to me? Can yeah. you just flash them? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, let me get my ring like, real <laughs> quick. Like, yeah. Um, um, well, how, yeah, how was good. Have you? Did you get back on the apps? Okay. So yes. Oh my god. I actually yeah. did. I partook in a little gummy, and Ooh. yes, just to loosen it up. Yeah. And he's I, talking about Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, Sour Patch Kids <laughs> with the little the green ones. <laughs> and um, I redownloaded Hinge. Oh. So this has been a while since I've been on the apps, mm-hmm. dating apps. Right. Yeah. Um, I you am on the adult apps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, I downloaded Hinge again. And I, you know, I was thinking, I was like, maybe I need to switch up my like questions because I always do the uh-huh. same ones. What What are your like, what are your like go to answers? Well, okay. So my first picture is me in a tuxedo, which like okay. you're not getting a lot of. But, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I, it was my friend Emily's wedding in okay. December. Oh, it's the sickening picture like of you outdoors. I don't know what was in the water that it, day. I, I mean, looked sick. Go to his profile right now. Take a screenshot. You'll be shook. You'll be like, you don't yeah. look like that. <laughs> but I did that day, which is crazy. Yeah. But I, I, and she just sent more photos too, where I'm like, yeah, I changed my grinder to like a <laughs> yeah. zoomed up picture of me in the suit. And I'm like, that's like, I shouldn't do that though. Because yeah. look at me right now. They're like, I'm in a yeah. top with a bra and, <laughs> and also I have a hat like- that says spitters or quitters on. So, and I'm in a skirt with yeah. moon boots. They're on grinder being like, am I about to a butler <laughs> they're like okay yes trade mm. and then I'm like hey girly hey. welcome to my house <laughs> yeah, yeah welcome to hell hey how are you <laughs> um which whatever it doesn't change how incredibly no. fun I am and no. hot are you kidding me you're such a catch but um my questions are mm-hmm. it says what am I looking for I always say Room G14, which is a Mean Girls reference because I love movies. And I'm like one, I'm very picky with my words Mm -hmm. because like I don't want to write like so much. Right. No, like that's what like when someone's like, what's your favorite memory? And they're like, it's set the scene. It's year 2004. My grandma had just died. (laughs) That's a favorite memory. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Well, if anybody wrote their favorite memory is their grandma died on their hands, I'm (laughs) going left. Yeah. yeah. We're exiting that one. (laughs) You're not getting my rose. (laughs) Let's just put it that way. But I say, yes, G14. And then I say the best way to ask me out is to ask. (laughs) As I was writing this down, I was like, maybe I am the problem. <laughs> yeah, the person's reading it being like, okay. They're like, yes, yeah, okay. Yeah. Maybe simple. he's a little confused. They just don't get your humor. That's yeah. the problem. And then- Everyone needs to be a little funnier. Yes. Where are the jokes? <laughs> <laughs> and then I say, I'm weirdly attracted to men. <laughs> well, by the way, if, if, not, if someone's not agreeing with that, I don't want to date them. Well, it's like, you know, it's like tongue in cheek. Yeah. And your tongue in my cheeks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but, but you could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then if I, I have a, I think the one in my thing is key to my heart is laughter and cookies, which oh, is okay. true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Th- I mean, those are honest, but I think people now just like, they treat them like, I mean, these are, people are getting their friends involved. They're like, what, what you is see, this? Like you can leave a voicemail on a hinge, oh, like a yes. message from a friend yes. being like date my friend because. Oh no. I feel like we've heard some weird ones. Like I think there was one, we were on a profile once and the guy was like, <laughs> people kind of find, find me funny. I don't, <laughs> I want to make you laugh. And I was like, oh, this is, this man's going to, this man is going to kill us. This man's going to hurt someone. I actually think, yes, I think they're funny mm-hmm. sometimes, but I love when people like have their own podcast on their Hinge profile. Right. Like, this is what right. I love and like da 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 Well, little do you know that we're actually recording this episode right now for your Hinge. This is actually yeah. a get to know me yeah. voice memo yeah. that's going all on my Hinge, a 45 minute one. Yeah. So if anybody has any questions yeah. about anything, Send especially our, our dating in hookup past, yeah. you will now know. Yeah, now you'll know. But yes, I'm back on Hinge. I have not set any dates yet. Mm-hmm. Um, that's okay. Yeah, it's 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 only been a couple days. It has been a couple days. Also, you should be picky. Right, right. And well, the thing about Hinge too now, I feel like, mm-hmm. or any dating apps really, is when they want to like exchange numbers. Yeah. And then it's like we're getting to know each other over text. Mm-hmm. I would rather like 
let's get a drink. Like mm-hmm. if we like the initial attraction, mm-hmm. maybe a few back and forth. Right. And if there is like a chemistry, just like let's let's meet for a drink yeah. and then ask those questions. Mm-hmm. But like once you start like texting, mm-hmm. sometimes you can like read text and they can be more charming or yeah. something. And then when you meet that person, the no, connection isn't there. It. You got to get to it. I'm, I'm a big fan of like, you know, yes, let's get to know each other a little bit. Like, let, but then let, let's go on the date. Yeah. Let's not, let's not like establish this entire relationship based on our, our, our conversation. Also, I just can't imagine giving, I mean, I guess it does make sense. You give your number, but now I feel like, cause I haven't been on the dating apps in a while now with like all those spam texts. Brag. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can't relate. No. <laughs> um, you know, like all those spam texts that come in, like, Hey Linda, like it's Jonathan. I'm across the street. And you're like, you know, just like a random spam text that you get. Now, are you not getting any spam texts? Spam texts. Like texts from random numbers that it's like they're trying to like get you into them. It's like, hey, haven't talked to you in a while. And you don't know who it is. And then you respond and then it's like a bot. No, I've never gotten one. Okay, well, then congratulations. You're winning. I get random ones like very specific. Like, hey, Linda, do you still have the scuba gear? And I'm like... That is so hyper specific, but there is a Linda out there who's going to respond and be like, "Yeah, I do have the scuba gear." Anyway, but you think that's a bot, or you think they're really looking no, for scuba gear? No, 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 no. They were looking for scuba gear for sure. Or, I would just be—I anyway. would be concerned that I would get a text from a bot and then think it was someone from Hinge and it not be Hinge. But you know, this is just me talking out loud. T, I get that. Yeah, yeah. I don't really like giving my number until we meet. Right. Or like, that I, I don't like giving my number when we meet, baby. <laughs> I'm like, you can find me outside. Exactly. Yeah. You, you. If you want me, you'll chase me. You'll find me. <laughs> you'll find me. If yeah. you really want to go on a date with me, find yeah. me. I'm not giving you my number, but I am giving you my location. I love that. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll share my location. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll just run around until you get me. <laughs> well, we love the chase. Yeah, we love the chase. But you, luckily. As we said, are in yeah. a relationship. I like am open to it, but mm. I am happy being single. Yeah, like I feel very content right now and mm. have amazing friends and yeah. amazing family. So I do feel like I mean it's very annoying to always hear, but it's like you know when people are like, yeah, you really gotta like work on yourself before you find someone else. I do like I feel like I needed some serious time alone before I because I was like relationship, 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 and yeah. then I took about five or six years off, and I needed that. It's nice. Yeah, but like, but then I was. Like I, you're, I don't, not, I'm not saying that you have any work to well, do. No, I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> don't we all? But I'm saying like, I feel like, yeah. And then like when you want it, no, I'm not saying when you, when you want it, it'll come to you. Cause like f- that, that's the most annoying thing to hear. Yeah. But, but I do think like when you least expect it, mm-hmm. it does. I mean, that's what happened with me. But I've I been really least, least expecting ex- it for yeah. about like yeah. four years yeah. now. So yeah. anytime like, to now. To the universe, you're like, I'm not, ex- I'm not guys. I'm really not expecting I'm like, anything. I'm not looking for I'm it. Not I'm not looking not. anywhere. But I'm also that person who is like, I'm single and like, I would love it. But then like, again, like. Until last week when I downloaded Hinge again, uh-huh. um, I wasn't on any apps. Yeah. I like have fallen into this like homebody kind of mm-hmm. thing where I don't go out that much, yeah. which I'm trying to change. I'm trying to like go out more and yeah. like be more social. And um, so I don't do any of those things where I'm going to meet people. Mm-hmm. So then I'm like at home on my couch being like, why have I met him? Yeah, right. Yeah, well, like, like, yeah, you're kind of like, you know, like when your parents are like, no one's going to come knock on your door. You're like, well... That's why I have Uber Eats and Postmates. Yeah. You're right. There's yeah. two gates to get to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's no a lot one, to get And over. if somebody is, I'm scared. Yeah. But then also, like, I mean, because of, you know, I mean, the dating culture and stuff. And I feel like this is something we could talk about. Like, there's a reason that sometimes we're, like, turned off by the idea of going back into dating or even hooking up. Because, I mean, we've all... We've all been through it. There, you know, you can't trust a bitch. No, and I'm sure we all have like millions of stories, yeah. which I can't wait. I think I have a few that you don't know. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like I feel like we do share so much with each other, and yeah. obviously on this podcast, we're going to share a lot of those things with you. But I do think that maybe one of the areas in our lives that we probably have, like that I haven't shared a lot with other people, are like dating horror stories or hookup nightmares because. I wouldn't want to. Yeah. So what better place to do that than a podcast? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Rather than just sharing with your friends, yeah. we're sharing with our family, <laughs> our the Breathe of You Agree <laughs> audience. <laughs> and literally our parents. Hi, yes. mom. I'm about to talk about hey, things that I think I've talked to you, mom and dad, about. Yeah. But um, you can just skip, shout out yeah. to y'all. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? If you listen, that's that's your fault. No, definitely listen. Yeah. You're just going to learn a lot about your yeah. son. We'll, we'll talk. We'll talk after this. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah. Wait. So wait. Tell me. Tell me something. Tell me. Tell me something that scarred you. That scared you. Okay. I don't know if it. Okay. It definitely it was definitely for the plot. Uh-huh. I will say that. Okay. And this was actually my only hookup of 2024 so far. Okay. It's only been. Oh th- my god. Uh, why are you laughing at me? <laughs> He laughed at me. 
<laughs> because I was I was doing that because. <laughs> Because I, You're laughing we, no, because no, I'm no, not no. active sexually? I thought, no, I thought you were going to say a different... I thought you... Before I heard 2024, it's like, it took time to catch up with me. In my so life. I thought, <laughs> this is my one encounter no, with a man the ever. Only, the only reason that this is my single dating horror story is because it's been my only date ever, so it's the best and the worst thing that's happened to me. No, 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 I was laughing because I I, I, I had to do the math of how long 2024... I'm not laughing at that at Okay, all. we're like mid-February. No, I know. By the way, I... I mean, I can talk about this at length, but every time that I've been like, I'm going to be such a slut now, I'm like, I was like, but I'm, I'm so bad at it. I so I'm wish. Bad. I really want, like, we have some friends who are so good at it. I love they it. They just get it whenever they want. I'm like, absolutely kudos, go after it, like three in a day, moo moo. <laughs> no, no, I'm listening to Kim Bedros, like, slut, pop, yeah, slut, yeah. slut on the throat. Give me go. a rim job, yeah. Yeah, literally, like, gag on it. And then like, any like, <laughs> Any like face to face with a man, I'm like, yeah. hey, um, no, yeah. I can't say, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, they're like, hey, want to go home? And you're like, um, I want to go I'm home. Like, actually, I already ordered Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. it's gonna yeah. be at my house. Yeah, and that's you're, they're getting the rose anyway. Not laughing at you. Yes, well, you all. did, but I'll continue <laughs> yeah. because I'm a gracious host <laughs> who doesn't laugh at other people. But are you good at traveling? Hey. Traveling or host? Hey. Oh. Get it? I prefer to host. Yeah. No, no, no. I could travel too. Yeah. Also, yeah, this is the audience that I'm going to share some secrets to. So if you're watching this and we ever do talk on <laughs> yeah. the app, hopefully I won't be on there for that much longer, but yeah. who knows? Probably will be. Yeah. Um, and also don't listen to this podcast and just assume you know everything about Julian and bring all these things up as <laughs> when you get to date him. Yeah. Or you can. Or you we can. can talk about it. Or you can be like, like my favorite better. minute of that episode was 12 minutes, 36 seconds. Yeah, when you talked about that man who, <laughs> you know, yeah. what, where, what I'm getting to. Yeah. So when I'm on Grindr uh -huh. um, or any like adult app, uh -huh. um, and for those who don't know, Grindr is like a hookup app. Um, it's kind of like a, a like a right now type deal. I mean, you can find dates and stuff on there, but yeah. a lot of people are on there because they're like, I'm horny and I want to right now. Yeah. I'm horny. <laughs> yeah. Um, Come over. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there's... Options for chats, mm -hmm. dates, like whatever you want. Yeah. Um, so like I usually say before anything, I'm like, I have a roommate. I live alone. Well, but now <laughs> they all know. I'm a liar. Yeah. I know, but well, What's for the, the pod, yeah. for the pod, I'll tell you. Yeah. I'll like ruin the secret. Yeah. I always say I have, I have a roommate because in case like the connection isn't yeah. there or like their needs for like a sudden out. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, my roommate's coming home. Okay, great. Whatever. Yeah. I don't have a roommate. <laughs> but my apartment does look like a roommate. <laughs> a, a woman may live there. <laughs> so it is easy to say that I have a roommate. They're like, oh my God, all those wigs. You're I'm like, like yeah, yeah, my roommate's really eccentric. She, she cuts her hair a lot. She, uh, yeah, I have like Sailor Moon, like. Um, on the wall. Yeah, what, what are those called? Those big like, stickers. stickers on the wall. Oh, they were called fat called? heads. Fat heads, yeah. Like, and it'd be like a football player. Yeah. But it's Sailor Moon. It's Sailor Moon yeah. and Sailor Mars. <laughs> and then like purple, purple, silver, <laughs> and like some other kind of stars. It mm. looks like a, a teen's bedroom, really. <laughs> In my living room. <laughs> your your 16 year old this, roommate. Like, flower carpet. Yeah, yeah. Oranges on the wall. It's cute. I love it's, it. It's it's a gorgeous apartment. N never a shame. Never a shame. No. But um, yeah, sometimes I'm like, she loves anime. We love, you know, cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I usually say that. So this time I had said it. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, my roommate's home, like whatever. I was talking to this guy. He was he was really hot. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'm just like in the giving mood. Uh -huh. Like I don't really need anything like. You don't need to receive. Yeah. Like yeah. You're just like always. I'm being so gracious right now. I'm like so giving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The movie The Giver, it's about me. <laughs> um, <laughs> just kidding. What's that movie about? <laughs> Okay, well, if it's bad, it's not about me. <laughs> it's like Meryl Streep was in it though, so it's probably good. I think I th I think I know the book that if it's based off of the book. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> books. <laughs> Read books, we everybody. Love reading is healthy. Reading is healthy. Yeah. Um, so, where was I? <laughs> You're giving. Oh, the giver. Yes, <laughs> that's it. So, like sometimes, like I can just like that's enough for me. Yeah. And I'm talking about. Oral or head, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but I just want to do it. I'm uh -huh. like kick back yeah. and like let me go to town. Uh -huh. Hey mom, hey dad, <laughs> and um, so I said to this man like, yeah, do you want that kind of? And he yeah. was like, yeah, that sounds good. Like okay. whatever. Great. Then I was going to New York the next day. So this is on New Year's Day. Okay. This is New Year's Day. So like Happy New Year. Yeah. Happy New Year, Woo! everybody. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> and um, 
I am packing because I'm going to New York the next day. Okay. And then finally I'm like, ugh, okay, I'm not doing this. Like, yeah. I don't want to do it. Uh-huh. Like, whatever. Yeah. And then I say, I'm like, sorry, like, but I'll be back mm-hmm. from a trip, like, whatever. And he was like, okay, let me know. And then he sent me a video oh. of him, like, his face included. And oh. then he was, like, in a bathroom mirror and he, like... <laughs> Touching. Slapped his body organ on the like <gasps> Ow. sink. Oh, well, it wasn't like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just kind of like a, yeah, yeah, he was like karate chop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, no, it was just kind of like a, like, you know, when they like fling it's it, like and a- it's just like, <laughs> and I was like, <gasps> I saw this video and I was like, oh gosh, I was like, I wrote back, I was yeah. like, actually, yeah, no, actually, I no, can I'm get going. this done. Yeah. I was like, actually, I can, I can hurry up. I can hurry up. Oh, and he yeah, was yeah. like, are you sure? I was yeah. like, yeah. yeah. Because also he looked, I mean, he's hot. Yeah. He was really hot. Yeah. So he sent the video on Snapchat. Like in some of this thing, he he was like, what's your Snapchat? Mm-hmm. So my Snapchat, if you want to add me, is Julian Lapone, which is the last name of one of the great Broadway divas, Patty Lapone. Oh, right. And um, <laughs> his was something having to do with Star Wars. Mm. And in our last episode, we talked about our gay awakenings, and one of mine was Star Wars. So I was like, oh my gosh, okay, so the name made me think I put mm-hmm. on Attack of the Clones, Star Wars 2, with okay, yes, Natalie yes, Portman yes, as Padme. And, and I put this on, and then he comes over. Mm-hmm. Because I'm like, oh, this is a nice conversation starter. Yeah. Like, oh, did you just put this on? I'm like, right. oh, yeah, I was yeah. just watching yeah, it. Yeah, just watching Attack of the Clones. But no, it was, was so like, crazy. you know, on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. And like um, literally. Yeah. <laughs> so he comes over, and it's nice. I, like, am expecting, like, I don't want to take my clothes off. Mm-hmm. I just want to, like, do it. Uh-huh. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. I just want to be, like... Lay back like, and then like, you go. Do you just want to... Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, um, whatever. So then yeah. he was nice. He had like pictures of... Okay, so first of all, he was so nice. Like love to this man. He was so nice. Mm. There was nothing really bad. We just didn't click on that sexual level. Mm-hmm. I just want to say that. But he was really cute and had these socks on with his dogs on them like I was like oh you're sweet and then he was like oh my gosh you like Star Wars mm-hmm. and I was like yeah, da, 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 yeah whatever then we get going and we start kissing like it's you know it's not the best kiss I've ever had but mm-hmm. you know people can practice okay. yeah you, you just, know. just slide it in there and then um it just we're just he's taking my clothes off and I'm like Ugh. I didn't even want to get naked. Yeah. Like I didn't like prepare and in yes. any way because I yes. was just like prepared no to do that oil. thing. Yeah. yeah, no body oil. No this body time. oil. My couch is suede. I, <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to, you know, yeah. ruin no, it. It's not a slip and slide, ladies. Um, but it could be. Yeah. And so he starts talking, like, and I'm into some dirty talk, yeah. right? Like, like a little, little like a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just and, like that. <laughs> but then it, it turned into like I was hooking up with Diane Sawyer. <laughs> like I felt like I was on 60 Minutes. The amount of questions <laughs> this man asked me, he was asking me questions. <laughs> like I don't think we went 30 seconds without silence. Oh my god! And to a point where I was like, like okay, come on, ask, ask me, ask me a question that he asked. It yeah. literally, but no. okay, no, no, I'm gonna. <laughs> I wrote them down. So like in my head, I'm like, do I use the roommate text like to mm, go right. but then I'm like no 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 you're hot and like yeah. you're here like I'm gonna do this yeah. whatever <laughs> yeah starting the new year with head <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and like whatever I was and, get, and it's honestly it's like 20 questions you let it, you get to talk about yourself how gorgeous totally but this maybe is not like, the setting yeah this is like in the midst of everything uh-huh. and I'm kind of like ugh. Okay, whatever. So then I wrote down some of the questions oh, okay, that please. he did. Actually, as me. soon as he left, I wrote it all in my oh, notes. Down. Yeah. Um, so first he was asking me, he was like, are you my little WeHo boy? <laughs> and <laughs> as soon as he says this, I'm like, okay, so mm. here we go. Mm. Like, I'm going to do this for the plot. Yeah. I yeah. had to make that yeah. decision. He said, are you my little WeHo boy? Mm. And obviously I'm answering yes. Yeah. I really am giving yes and Say yeah. that shit with, with your mouth. With your chest. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he asked me, are you my little weeble boy? I'm like, uh-huh. yes. <laughs> and then he says, are you my little slut? And I'm like, You're like this which for one me, like, I? I could get into. Right? Yeah. I'm like, T, <laughs> like, love it. Yeah. And again, no kink shaming. Love a good dirty talk. Yeah. But again, this became like an interview. Of, yeah. Then he said to me, do you love me? <laughs> At this point, I I look at this man and I'm like, "Do you want, want me to love, love you? you?" Yeah. And he was like, "Do you answer love the me? question?" Yeah. He kind of yeah. got like angry yeah. a little bit, and I was like, "Okay." And I was like, "What did you say?" I said, "Yeah." 
<laughs> I said yes. You're like, what else was I going to say? No. Like, no. Well, no. I said no later on, but uh-huh. I was like, yes. And then he goes, how much do you love me? <laughs> on a scale of one to 10. Exactly. And I'm like, okay, maybe I'm saying like, oh, <laughs> And then I again I asked him like how much do you want me to love you because I'm kind of like <laughs> yeah. I'll do this like yeah. I'll play the part yeah. but you gotta like give me some guidelines. Yeah. Let me tell you our conversation was like you come over, we do yeah. this, you leave. Yeah. The kids call it a blow and go. Easy <laughs> <laughs> as that. Yeah. But then after that he says how much you love me and then he goes is this the best D you've ever had? Mm. He said dick, but mm. I was just saying D yeah. for language. But <laughs> yeah, bleep. There I go. Yeah, and I said, I said yes again. I'm, I'm, I'm going along with it. Mm. I'm playing the part. I'm an actor. Yeah, and then I say yes, and he goes, No, it isn't. You're lying to me. <laughs> And I was like, so you're like oh, at this oh. point, you're like, is it role play or are, am I am I in trouble? Exactly. Am I in danger? And then he goes, you're a liar. <laughs> and I was like, oh, and then okay. were you like, were you like, yeah, I am. You, you're you're hot. That's a f- lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I literally was just like so like, okay, yeah, like, yeah, totally. Yes. waiting for the next. I'm the little weeho liar slut boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a liar. Um, I really don't have a roommate. Um, and then he goes. It's New Year's Eve the night before. And he goes, this is going to be bleeped out, but mm. were you f- last night? Mm. And I go, no, I wasn't. <laughs> and he goes, you weren't f- on New Year's? <laughs> and I go, no, I wasn't. And he goes, yeah, you were. You were f- last night in the middle of the dance floor at the Abbey and everybody watched. I'm not kidding. And then, and then I'm like silent at this point. I'm like, what? And then he's like, do you want me to? Doing the dance floor at the Abbey. What? I, what? This is. We have lost the plot. No, babes. This we is getting lost out of control. The plot. This oh is my what God. I'm saying. I'm like, okay, I'm I'm cool with like a little <laughs> yeah. bit, but at this point, I was like, what are these scenarios? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. did you even think of yeah. that? Yeah. And then we keep going, and he goes, um, I. Then I laughed. I mm. laughed, and then he. That didn't help. He was like, Oh, do you like that? Yeah. Oh, you like that? Mm-hmm. And I was like, Yes. Like, yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. You're like, Yes, I'm a liar. <laughs> really. <laughs> and then he goes. Does your roommate get on this couch? And I'm like, don't bring her into this. Yeah. She doesn't even she exist. Doesn't even exist. <laughs> of course, don't talk about her that way. That's my roommate. Of course, she's getting the spotlight. Yeah, yeah. I can't even have this for myself. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, sure, like whatever. And he goes, does she think of me when she's getting? Okay, now it, we're, at this point where you're like, you gotta go. Baby, I don't even know this man's name oh, okay. at this point. So I'm like, no, she doesn't. Yeah. Because again, she doesn't exist. And <laughs> second of all, who are you? <laughs> I don't know. We're talking about me. Yeah. yeah. And then he says, do you want me to impregnate you? Okay. Let me tell you something. <laughs> at what point were you like, this has been so fun? After he came. <laughs> <laughs> Which I was really on a mission to. I was like, right. stop your talking. Yeah, and I yeah. was like, <laughs> I was trying to go as fast as I could at this point. Ah, yeah, 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 was like, yeah. Every time we talked, I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he said, do you want my babies? Okay. And I said, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. I was just like, like, I did say yes, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest. Yeah, you just, you had to. But yeah. then, uh, so that was really the story. He just mm. asked a lot of questions That's that I was just like, what mm. are you saying about? He was really nice at mm-hmm. the end, like, no, he, he seems like, sweet. He like cl- he seems to really care. You click. I think he like clicked back into <laughs> like that's just him sexually, mm, which yeah. is totally cool. Like <laughs> I was taken off guard, but I I'm sure people. I mean, when I hear vocal, I think it's just a, it's something a little different than that. Yeah, not that I there's like anything a few wrong questions with it. Like, does that feel good? Yeah. Or like, do you like that? Not like, what's your social security it's number? Like, what's your biggest regret in life? <laughs> yeah, yeah. As I'm like, how's your relationship with your, your father? <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. So yes. Yeah, so little to say, that was my only interaction with a man mm. in 2024 so far. Well, look, get it. See, you should th- see it this way. Things are. Probably only looking up, I would hope. I mean, that sounds like it's still a cute interaction. It was cute. It wasn't like, it's a fun story. I definitely like got, um, I was so excited to tell my friends about right. it. Um, and again, he was super sweet and like super nice. Mm. Shout out if you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever your name is, we do not know. <laughs> um, well, wow. I did I did find out his name and then I was saying it wrong and then he corrected me, but oh. I, I don't want to say the name. No, I don't say it. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Oh my God. But yeah. That's a lot. So that was my, yeah, 2024 yeah. so far. And then I haven't seen or touched a man since. Well, that's what I'm here for, baby. Uh, touch my hand. Uh, Do you feel better? Yeah. Okay, great. 
<laughs> feels good. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah that's I I feel like I haven't had like a. I definitely. I don't think I've had a fun story like that. I I mean, I've had some experiences for sure. Um, one that I'm really thinking about mm. is um, so this was right before COVID, uh-huh. and um, a little backstory. I had um, had a very like when I was 25, you know. Highlight month of my 400 life. Four hundred years ago, <laughs> I had um, I had sold a show, which was very exciting, and um, we were developing it, and then COVID was hitting. It kind of fell apart. It was very sad. Whatever. Just a little backstory for you to know. Yes. Um, <laughs> things went down from there. Um, I uh, invited. It was really late at night. Mm. I wanted a guy to come over. I like, and this is like for what for <laughs> to ta- to ask me if I was. A- liar um, uh no and i this was like so kind of like unlike me i i went on the apps i found a man he was hot and he came over and oh actually this was this was like the second or third time he had come over because this was one of those things where i had been single for a very long time uh-huh. i just wanted someone to touch yeah um the first time that he came over and um we had hooked up he kept the whole time he kept being like what do I know you from? What do I know you from? Which of course you're like, oh, like, no, you're probably confusing me with someone else, whatever. And then is this the man who went to jail? <laughs> yes. Work. I didn't realize you knew this story. No, no, I know. I don't know this story, but I think yeah, this yeah. is that man. No, this is Because he did man. come to our apartment once. Oh my God, he did. Yeah. He, he, but that was he, later that was, on. that was after That's COVID. when he got back from jail. <laughs> That's when he got back from jail. Yeah. Work. So yeah. So basically one night I'm in bed with this man and, um, I, he asked me, he asked me, he was like, so what's going on with the show? And I was like, oh, like. You know, unfortunately, it's just not going forward. It's really a big bummer. It was an amazing experience. I'm so happy that it happened. But like, yeah, it's just not happening. And he turns over, this man, and he goes, "Ugh, I totally relate. I'm going to jail. Oh, I ruined the punchline. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, I mean, it's still, it's still, sorry. it's still, it's still shocking. No, yeah. It's still shocking. So I, so then I'm like. <laughs> We're both going through it. Yeah I'm, like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh my god, I totally get it. My show isn't de- de- being developed at NBC, and you're going to jail. F- no, so I, you know, then I'm like, you know, I'm next to this man in bed. I'm like, yeah. shimmying over a little bit, like, who, who is in my house? You know, like, who is this person? Um, and yeah, so he, then he, he, I, I, he was like, yeah, so I totally get it. I'm going to jail, and I was like, oh, like, um, a couple, couple questions. First of all, um. Try, explain that relation. <laughs> that, that, how do you relate those two things to me? He's like, well, I get it. Like, you had something bad happen in your life, and I have something bad happening in my life. I was like, yeah, de- definitely. That that seems to be the case. And then I'm like shimming away. I'm like, why? What's going on? Why are you going to jail? Yeah. I'm not even gonna necessarily say the reason that he was going to jail. All that you need to know is that he didn't murder anyone. Um, so I was That's safe. pretty fair. I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I did invite him over again a couple years later, which I don't take pride in my, my I, I can already hear my dad being like you f- someone from jail There's I nothing think wrong it was with that. during pride though was it during the month of June I don't even remember but this was so I lots mean, of pride <laughs> yeah yeah exactly this year for celebrating pride I'm gonna have sex with the man I had sex with pre-covid who's out now after jail yeah no so I mean the good thing was is that because covid happened it did delay his jail sentence which was nice for good for him yeah good but for I you also too. was like honestly covid would have been a nice time to kind of like get it out of the way yeah, but then like, but then it's scary. Yeah, yeah, it's not totally. necessarily the safest. But no, he was, and in but the, like in that same bed, there were just I have like a couple. So many things happened in that bed. One time, this again post relationship, I uh-huh. really wanted to like. I started seeing this guy. I knew from the beginning that there was really nothing that was going to come of it. Yeah, this man is in my bed one night, and he, we're not, he's not looking at me. Yeah, he's playing a video game on his phone. Work. Um, and then he Kim K. <laughs> Kim K. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. love that game. Yeah. Rest in peace. Oh that yeah, they took over. it away. Yeah. And um, no, he he then pulls out. I didn't even know he had it. He goes. And he, I guess he had a bag. He pulls out a euro. He, this man's shirtless on my bed. He's he's eating a euro. This euro is spilling out of my bed. Like and a, then a shaved like like a, like a like a like a yeah like a gyro. Oh okay yeah <laughs> yeah like a gyro. I don't know how to pronounce like it. Like it's like delicious. cut off of the thing. Delicious. Yes. Delicious. But like not in my bed. You know it's not a picnic table. D-D. And also like I'm sitting there being like so like what are we gonna do like are we gonna do you wanna kiss like he's like do you have any and also he's <laughs> literally garlic onion whatever and then he starts sobbing with the euro eating the euro like <laughs> and I was like. Oh my, and then of course I'm like, what happened? And he's like, oh my God, I miss my ex-boyfriend. So this man is in my bed, no, spilling a gyro, playing video games, not hooking up with me and talking about his ex-boyfriend. You said mama. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Look. I was trying to escape the sadness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, that's, I, I was like, I was trying to get over it myself. Yeah. And I mean, it's just, I just think that sometimes 
people just don't read the room. And that was, those were two situations where I was just like, I'm not even know, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do in this situation. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't, I didn't know how to get out of it. I, then he, he slept over. You should say you have a roommate. Yeah. I did have a roommate. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. No, that didn't, that didn't, we were in my room. He was like, and he was like, can I sleep over? I was like, and I think I said like, oh, I think you should go home. And he was like, but I just need, you know, mm. Oh, yeah. You heartless bitch. Yeah, I'm just evil. <laughs> I should have. I also think I asked for a bite of the hero and oh. he said no. No way. <laughs> yeah. He didn't share? No, he didn't share. He wanted to eat the whole thing. Was it a big euro? It was huge. Wait, when he took it out of his bag, was it in like a styrofoam <laughs> no. thing or no, like. I think it was we were in WeHo and we met up in WeHo. I'm trying, like, and I, this was a while ago. I tried to, obviously, I tried to block block this story out. I was trying to get it out of my yeah, mind. Too. But no, I think he got like a hot euro off of the street. Or from like, you know, one of the WeHo bars next to them, which yeah. reminds me one time I hooked up with a guy who went to the fish place, the sushi bowl place right before we um, went to his apartment. He ate a combination of sama, salmon. Sama. <laughs> sama. I love salmon. Yeah, sama's so good. No, he ate a combination of sama sush. Sama sush. <laughs> salmon, tuna, and octopus. Didn't brush his teeth. Oh. <laughs> Pre hooked up. And then, oh, and then the next morning I went downstairs and we were looking he was like, let's go to brunch. And I was like, I really would like to go home. He's like, let me take you to brunch. And we go outside and I see this car. I'm not going to say the make because then you might know what it was. And the, the license plate said, you would. And I was like, that's the stupidest <laughs> license plate I've ever seen. And then he goes, beep, beep. And it's <gasps> that car. Yeah. Wait, and why then, is that stupid though? You would. You like, like you would. You would. <laughs> yeah. And then also in my head, I was like, I was walking downstairs with this mindset of like, I can't believe I did that. And then the yeah. first thing I see is you would. <gasps> And I did, and I did, <laughs> and I did. Um, anyway, so, you know, the thing is, is that, but I feel like these things, you know, they, they make us who we are. They happen. I think- They're formative. They, yeah. They lead us to the right people for sure. Well, because- Sometimes. They don't mean it. Like, it's never like mm -mm. ill intended. Like, it's no. sometimes just like, can't, uh, yeah. like we said, like reading the room right. and then also just like, just, just like you're different. On different levels. We're different. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, yes, don't get me wrong. There are men who can absolutely, men, women, anyone- Anyone can do people. you wrong, but in these situations, like none of these people were, none of, I'm not, I don't have anything bad to say about these people. I just yeah. have bad, terrible things to say about the situations that I was put in. Okay. Well, love to the man. He's out now. He's out now. I, I think actually he is because he, I don't want to, I'm not, I can't. No, I can't he's out because we saw we him, see out. him out. Yeah. We see him out. Well, no, yeah, well, let's not disclose let's not too much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, His location. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. So these were horror stories. Horror. Like definitely yeah. red horror. flags horror. or yeah. just like red flags for us in general. But like, there are also green flags that yeah. we're like looking for in our partners. For sure. And I would love to hear about Dive some of yours or if you want to ask me yeah. some of mine. On this podcast, we'd like to be able to offer some advice. Obviously you hear our stories and you hear we're insane. Yeah, but maybe we'd love we should to be delete the apps. Is really what we should. <laughs> yeah. say. What the adult apps? Yeah, they seem to lead to nothing but. Actually, no, but they no, lead but they, to good stories. Yeah, they do lead to good stories. And then you all right, have you guys, a I'll be more on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually, I'll sign on later. Um, yeah, but I think like I would love to know. I want to ask you some things about if you saw these things, if you would see this as a positive or a negative. Okay, please. Um, okay, so. He wants to meet your family three months into dating. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's yeah. a green flag. See, I agree. I think that some people see that as a red flag. I, it depends. It's, it, it's, it's a weird situation. Ship. He's not responding to your text, blah, blah, blah. Like, uh, I don't know. Well, really like if we're like you. dating, yeah. dating and he's like, you, I want to meet your family. Yeah. Three, I mean, three, three months. months. Well, that, I said three months because I feel like some people are like, that's too early. Whereas we, I mean, I think my current, my current boyfriend, Nico met. My family, like two, three weeks. Hey, Y'all yeah. were off to the races. We, 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 we were both at the beginning. We were like, we should take it slow. And then we were like, we're getting married. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. I was there that night. Actually, um, I said I was going to the event that Nick met Nico at. And Nick, I was said it for months. And it was during Pride. And I was like, I'm going to this party. You guys buy tickets. And they're like, no, we don't True. really do that. And then we had a pregame that day. And people came over. And of course... <laughs> <laughs> when the masses were like, oh, we're going to that party. <laughs> Nick's like, okay, yeah, we're going to buy tickets. And he's like, Julian, we're going to this tonight. And I'm like, really? <laughs> like, I've been telling you for months to buy tickets. <laughs> then he met the love of his life. And look it, where we are and now. look where we are now. <laughs> now we have a podcast. And now we have a podcast. So. And he's at Yale. If there's anything, if there's a message here, it's buy Listen the, buy the ticket. Listen to Julian and buy the ticket. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I think three months into dating makes sense. Three months is a long time. Yeah. 
I think for me. Also so funny, I was like <laughs> writing down green flags and I put remembers things and I was like, how low is my bar <laughs> that I'm writing like he green remember- flag, he remembers things. He remembered my name. <laughs> Literally. I'm like, okay, wow, yeah. I really need to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been crazy. Okay, great. Um, What do you think about him communicating, like, in the beginning, knowing his love language? Like, he he lets you know, like, what his oh, love languages are. I think that's a green are. flag. I think it's good to have some awareness of, like, what you what you, what you you want, what you need. Yeah. I also, as a partner, I'm very, I very much want to know that. I, I Obviously, I want to figure those things out. I think it's cute to be, like, deeper into your relationship and be like, I think that you have this love language that you didn't know about. Yeah. But, yeah, if you, if you require a lot of touch, if you want a lot of communication, if I really care about you, yeah. I want to make sure that you're happy in the relationship. And totally. I want to also not only just make sure that the relationship's going well just for me, but I also want you I want to make you happy I want to make I want you to feel comfortable I want you to get what you need yeah um in the same way that I like I'm (laughs) you know I require a lot of um uh words of affirmation Mm. and um, you're gorgeous (laughs) keep going (laughs) Um, you're sexy (laughs) and then I require a lot of um quality time and I know that about myself and like the partners who have cared about me really invest in that and I think it's good to know those things because if, if it's not important to them then I don't know if it's an important relationship. Totally. I totally agree. I think it's very important because you know what you want. Yeah. And it's nice to communicate that to your partner. Yeah. I don't think like the first day you're like, I need to be touched. Like, like, give me your leg under the table. (laughs) Right. Yeah. Like, or this is never happening again. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, my, um, (laughs) my love language is fisting. You're like, oh, I didn't know that was on the list. I'm like, oh, I left my um, latex (laughs) glove at home. (laughs) I left my wrists at home. (laughs) Um, Okay. How about, um. Someone who calls all of their exes crazy. Um, <laughs> if this is a red flag, I, I don't think. I, I don't. Oh, think, I don't know. No, see, I feel like a lot of people say it's a red flag, and I'm like, I kind of. Do I that. do it. <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe we're the problem. Literally, I'm realizing like <laughs> yeah. maybe I am the problem. Yeah. No, I read that one, and I was like, uh oh. Anyway, um, I don't know if I person. would like cancel. I wouldn't be no. like. Also, oh. sometimes people do date insane people. Yeah, like. No, because I've had my fair share of people who I'm like, oh, okay, like, mm. I don't, I, I don't know, but I don't really like talking about, like, maybe past relationships a mm. little bit and, like, how, what didn't work or things like that, but I don't, like, bring, I don't want to, like, talk about it in depth. Right. Yeah. I mean, like, if no, there was, yeah. like, a long-term Eventually, thing. Eventually, yeah, I think it's good. I think down the line, like, with, a, like, a serious long-term relationship, yeah. like, maybe you want to hear about what happened to them. Maybe there was something traumatic from it. But early on, just being like, this one was crazy because he did this and this and this and this and this and this. It's like, it's a little, it's a lot for the beginning. Yeah, like, I was seeing somebody who kept being like, oh, my ex-boyfriend. Like, yeah. kept saying that. And I'm no. like, I don't, like, sure, if that yeah. plays a part in our relationship that, like, we're talking about it and, like, things that didn't work out for you and that right. person. But it was, like, telling stories. And I it was almost uncomfortable because well, I was, like... Well, it's like they're talking about one of their best friends. That's yeah. how often they're bringing it up. Which is, like, not a problem, like... It isn't, but like first dates, I'm kind of like, I don't want to hear about that. Let's right. talk about like, if we're talking about like us or right. like that, I don't know what that is, yeah. but maybe that's like a, a jealousy yeah. thing or whatever. But I, I guess like how I am today about dating has stemmed from like past relationships yeah, totally. that have like scarred me or yeah. like just like really left me emotionally damaged and un. <laughs> oh god cut the camera my heart is damaged <laughs> hey. um, but just like emotionally unavailable yeah. and that is something that I would want to communicate to my partner if mm-hmm. like I'm having trouble like communicating that in general in a conversation or, mm-hmm. or a fight yeah I can ask another one. Oh, how about how about um, when they say something really homophobic to you at a meal and then they turn away and talk to themselves for five minutes on the date Oh my god! Red flag or green flag? Maybe that Red has flag. has or hasn't happened to me. Seems a little hyper specific. And when it did happen, did you break up with him on the spot? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We move on. We're better. We live and we learn. Yeah, but we live and we learn. <laughs> you didn't know your worth, ladies. <laughs> yeah, yeah know your worth. Know your worth. Um, so red flag, right? Yeah. Okay. Why don't we do one more? <laughs> okay. A red flag or green? <laughs> Whatever. No, I'll decide if it's red or oh, green. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tell me how this is. <laughs> respects your time, like he or they want um, their own. Or yeah, respects your time. Obviously, it's green flag. Green but flag, like, yeah. Wants their alone time. I as think, well as yes, having your alone time. That is a green flag for sure. Mm. I think that's a very healthy thing. I think again, these are things that I've learned in relationships. I think I used to be. I'm a very. I like to spend a lot of time with my partner. Mm. I also like to a lot spend a lot of time with my friends and my family. Yeah. Um. 
I think that I've learned over the years that for the health of a relationship, it's also good to have your you time, your, yeah. to have your things that you're doing. When people are like, oh, we have our very separate lives, I'm a little bit like, you know, like, oh, well, I have my friends, he has his friends. I'm a little okay. bit like, mm, that's where you lose me a little bit. I think it's nice to integrate your, your lives. Of course, yeah. But no, I think having your alone time, having your hobbies, having the things that you like to do alone, being able to spend time alone, which I've really worked on over the years. Yeah. And I am better at it. Am I perfect at it? No. Would I rather be with people? Yeah. Okay. But do I like being alone? Yes. Since the pandemic, I like love being alone. Yeah. That's, like, that's very specific to you. Before, no. <laughs> I mean, well, no, I'm sure a lot of people, but yeah. like before, before yeah. I always wanted to go out, I always did it. And then I right. found like a lot of peace in being by myself. Yeah. Um, and that continued on afterwards. But I think I found a lot of like clarity and also self-confidence in that time. Like mm. that's when I started making videos mm -hmm. and like really owning the parts of me that I hadn't like yeah. shown everybody. At that time, like in the beginning of the pandemic, I was like still trying to be like masculine on Instagram and like trying to like, again, you're <laughs> laughing. <No. laughs> So I'm, like, I'm laughing because I've done the same thing. No, you know, like the people I'm like, laughing. Mm, yeah, and yeah. I'm like all in black yeah, like, and like yeah. whatever. And it's just like, so not me. No. And then the pandemic, when I was alone and like sat with myself, it was like, these are the things that like really like, right. I, I need to celebrate these things that like make me who I am. Right. And that's like allowed me to do the videos and there was just so much personal growth. And yeah. I think that really like taught me that when I am alone, like I can achieve things yeah. like and unlock things within myself that's so beautiful. i still love that it. is very beautiful Shut, you're such a bitch <laughs> I you said, that's, that's beautiful <laughs> what am i supposed to say t uh, <laughs> and you're mocking me <laughs> i no, can't I'm believe saying, it I'm episode saying three this is the last episode <laughs> yeah. you're ever getting Cut the camera. no i'm saying that is beautiful i do think that, and by the way i do agree with every single thing that you said and i think that you really have come into your own and i think that that's something that everyone can learn from See, there are educational aspects. You're just making, I'm the only reason I'm laughing is because you're staring at me. Oh my God. Well, I love that. Yes. I, I love, I love that. Um, no, but no, I think, yeah. I mean, there are a lot of red flags and green flags. Those are things that you really want to look out for. And you gotta, you got, trust yourself. Trust your judgment. Mm. Trust it, bitch. So I know we've talked oh, about. Oh, wait. But, are you going to intro it, right? Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> Amateur over yeah, here at the I'm table. I'm still learning. Am I gonna intro? No. Maybe this is episode three. I'm a pro. I'm learning. Let's hear about. We talked about the horror stories. I want to yeah. hear about your like your best date ever. Okay, a best date for me. Um, let me think about it. <laughs> um, no, a best date for me. I, I there is one that comes to mind. I've had a million wonderful dates, and I think there's different ways for people to show their love for you and just make it special. But I think, you know, for me, I don't need anything like super over the top. I remember one of my first dates with my current boyfriend, Nico, which was just lovely. And it made me feel cute. very cute. <laughs> hey, hey, babe. Um, we, he, one time he, he picked me up. It was just a wonderful Sunday. Um, he picked me up. We went to Trader Joe's. We bought like a million different snacks. We did a picnic in the park. And that's, I think what I also realized in this moment was for me, and maybe this makes me, I don't know, a boring person. Like a picnic in the park to me, I'm a little bit like, eh. Like, what are we going to do? We're just going to just get, have a picnic in the park. Uh, and we did exactly <laughs> that. And it was so lovely. Yeah. And I really got to know him. It was so wonderful. I felt very special. I felt very taken care of. He was like making me little sandwiches, you know, working for me. That's really cute. Yeah, which we love. And then we went back to his house and he made, um, he's really famous for making a peach cobbler. So he taught me how to make a peach cobbler. We made that. And then we got McDonald's for dinner, which is my favorite thing to do on a Sunday. So and we good. had McDonald's and peach cobbler and then watched a movie and fell asleep. And it was just so, so simple, so special. It didn't need to be anything over the top. And it was just one of my favorite days that I've had and definitely one of my top favorite dates. I just think about that when I think about how much I love him. Oh my gosh, you're literally living the dream. <laughs> my best date sucks compared to that. <laughs> what? I want a picnic. No one's ever made me a picnic. I'll take you on a picnic. I don't well, want you to go take me on a picnic. <laughs> I want somebody who like wants to guys, talk me to take me on a picnic. Guys, someone take Julian on a picnic. No, not, not well, anymore. Not now. Not now. If you take Julian on a picnic now, we know you're fake. Yeah. Not, <laughs> if you take me on a picnic, actually, no, I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, wait, what's, what? Tell me about your. Okay, favorite. my best date. And it's something I really treasure because it was just like a moment. Because even though this was with my college boyfriend, mm. who we're not talking a lot about, but no. it was a special moment in my life. It was honestly. I like, yeah, I, I thought I had like found my best friend. Mm. Like he, and he was at the time, he definitely was. Yeah. But um, 
it was a very long, like, back and forth kind of thing. He ended up cheating on me multiple <laughs> times, but I also <laughs> took him back multiple times. Okay. Again, standards, people. Never, never let them down. Believe in yourself. I didn't at that time, so but the now easiest you know. thing was that. Yeah. Um, but we took a trip. You're laughing again. <laughs> I'm so funny. Like my you're life making is me, a you're joke. Making me laugh. My life no. is a joke to Nick. No. You heard it here first. No, baby, I'm calling you. You're you are a funny person, baby. <laughs> All right, patronizing. But um, okay, no, we went to New York. Yeah. yeah, listening and laughing. Um, <laughs> we went to New York and we went to this place called Serafina. Uh huh. Oh, it's the, like the Italian, Italian spot. Yeah, yeah, Italian. Yeah, yeah. And we were about to see, I think we were seeing Gigi with Vanessa Hudgens. So, like, it was, like, really exciting, oh, okay. like, in the musical. Yes. Um, the Night They Invented Champagne uh -huh. is in that musical. Okay. <laughs> That's the only song I don't remember. But um, I went to the bathroom. Like, we had ordered calamari. And they, mm. like, wrapped this lemon in, like, a... Uh, oh, in the, like, little net. The little cloth. Yeah. So that when you squeeze it, the, the seeds can't come mm -hmm. out. And... I came back from the bathroom and the calamari came and it was so cute. Like he had, he had never seen like a lemon wrap like that. <laughs> and he was trying to unwrap it like with uh -huh. all his might trying to get that off this, the lemon. Uh -huh. And Cause he was, was like, this lemon's trap. He was like, I can't get this off the <laughs> yeah, lemon. Yeah. And I was like, no, 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 like squeeze it, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but that was just like a moment where I was like, oh, I know I love you. Yeah. Oh. And it, past all the stuff that did happen, right. like in that moment I, that I can like, Firmly remember. I know it seems like little. No, but that was, it's about the little things. It made me feel something like I don't think I've ever felt before mm. in that moment where yeah. I like looked at him and I was like, Yeah, I love, I love this man. No matter what, yeah. like whatever. And then we saw Vanessa Hodgins, which was slay. Yeah. Um, yeah. But he didn't. No, that's so I also, cute. I paid for dinner, so whatever. <laughs> yeah. I threw the picnic. Yeah. He tried, he tried to take my net off of my lemon, which I paid for. Yeah. I hope you took the net home. Yeah. But that is very cute. I mean, that it, it, it is, it is, sometimes it is about, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't always have to be about these major gestures. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh. Because you made a face on me. Well, because I was thinking in my head, I was like, oh, that'd be funny. I was like, do you try that stuff with a net? <laughs> well, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> they can't all be bangers. They can't, they can't all land. Um, exactly. No, but um, I think, yeah, it's a lot of the time it doesn't have to be about this. Like, you don't have to do something major for the person. It's nice to do that. But sometimes it is about the small things. Yeah. And it doesn't even have to be about a small thing that, like, you know that they're doing. He was doing this cute little thing. And you're like, wow, this is just, I just, I feel this overwhelming feeling. You can't control those emotions. Yeah. It was just like you see somebody and you're like, oh, my gosh, like, I'm lucky. I feel lucky yeah. in this moment. Was I? No. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm over it. I hope you're doing well. Yeah. Okay. We are back with a fun little segment. Sorry, we had to take a break. Nick had to take a big dump. <laughs> But we're back. The studio smells horrible. <laughs> but we're going to play this game. We prepared these. We haven't told each other. And it's called F. Mary Ghost. Yes. We didn't want to do kill because killing is bad. Yes. And ghosting is bad too. We don't condone that. But it's better than killing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to go first? Um, sure. I will go first. So for the first category, I think it's just fun to do F. Mary Ghost. Let's do a, like, let's do a little celebrity round. Okay. okay. Love. So first up, we got... Paul Mezcal. Okay. Yum. Okay. Next, we got Leo Woodall. Okay. Do you know who that is? No. <laughs> From White Lotus, season two. Remember, he has sex oh with Oh, my it. gosh. And he looks also, different in that photo. And he's also in that new movie. I think it's called, like, One Day or something on Netflix that everyone's, oh, like, Oh, I haven't watched it I know. Yet. Apparently, Wait, you cry the a lot. one who he he's dating with Megan the uncle Fahey. in the... Yes. Oh, yes. they're dating? Yeah. They, they went... They, went uh, they hard launched on Instagram today. Today? Today. Whoa. I know. Okay, anyway, so Wait, he looks different in that photo. He looks like a little baby. I just didn't know his name. And then, Sorry to this man. And then third, Michael B. Jordan. <gasps> okay. Oh my goodness. I made it a little difficult for you, baby. Yeah, Mama, I want all of them. Okay, so F, Mary, and Ghost. Okay, well, I think I'm going to ghost middleman. I'm going to ghost just because, like, we're not on the, we're not that close. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then I am going to marry. I'm going to marry Paul. Okay. And then I am definitely going to have Michael B. Jordan mm. multiple Gorgeous. times if I have the choice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah, it, honestly, if he asked me those questions, if he like was interviewing yeah. me and yeah. asked me if I wanted his kids, I would say <laughs> yes. Yes, yes with no hesitation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. It's like, mm hmm well, Yes. Well, good. Thanks for playing Celebrity Round. Okay. My turn. Great. Okay. So first up, we mm -hmm. have... <gasps> Pedro Pascal. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Love. Next we have Jacob Elordi. <gasps> okay, this is going to be so hard. What's in this? Bath, bath water, water baby. Thick. <laughs> <laughs> and next we have Zac Efron. Okay. I just watched Iron Claw. Very yes. sad, but that inspired us. Okay. I am going to unfortunately ghost Zach Efron. Okay. He, I feel kind of like a ghost. He's from the past. I'm going my own way. <laughs> yeah. What about us? That's High School Musical, right? Yes. I don't know all the references. Okay. Zach Efron's going to go. I'm going to ghost him because he's just from the past. He's mm. just not, he's not fresh meat like the other two. How um, dare Zach. Okay. And then I'm, I definitely. He's never coming on this podcast now. <laughs> You ruin everything. <laughs> Zach, if you're listening, I still would F and marry you. Um, but for the sake of the game, uh, I'm going to um, F Jacob Elordi, Bathwater. We mm -hmm. saw a lot of things. He also just seems like someone who would be good to, you know, toss around. Mama, <laughs> toss me around. Yeah, exactly. Actually, Pick no, I, I'd give it to you too. Yeah. I'm burst. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm definitely going to marry Pedro. I mean, he is, yeah. he is like. The mother I've always loved, the wanted, the father I've always loved, you know. I don't know the The quote mother you always wanted. <laughs> well, yeah, but I'm a mother. No, um, no, I think he's gorgeous. <laughs> Shout out to Dawn. Shout out to <laughs> Anne, our mothers that we do have and I've always wanted. We love you. No, I think Pedro is gorgeous. I think he's absolute husband material. I definitely would have children with him. T, yeah. And by the rate of what this world is going through, it is going to be the apocalypse soon. Yeah. And, and Pedro, he, he we've seen it, yeah. that he knows what to do. I want to be one of the last of them do you know that sound where it's like the zombies and it's like if the oh. apocalypse i made oh, like yeah. a video and it's like yeah. come down here and let me suck your cock pretty boy <laughs> yeah. and then yeah. it's like okay okay yeah, yeah i would become Pedro, a, i would be a zombie for yeah Pedro, yeah okay so for my second category uh -huh. i wanted to do f mary ghost for first date ideas okay love okay so the first one is a stand-up comedy show fun mm-hmm maybe Okay. The second is a three and a half hour biopic. Okay. <laughs> and the third is a rave. Oh. Yeah. Not as easy, is it? Do you have any like <laughs> clarification who the biopic's on? It's on. Is it um, a biopic like? It's not actors? a female. It's not. It's a man who's definitely like on a dollar bill. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's some interesting people on the dollar bills. Yeah. Can you name everybody on a dollar bill? I that's answered the question. <laughs> no, honestly, I can't either. That's why I wanted to see if you um okay, I would say I'm gonna ghost um It's kinda hard, isn't it? I'm gonna ghost the comp no. Yeah, I'm gonna ghost the comedy show. That's okay. No, <laughs> I don't know. It's I'm okay. gonna go. To, I'm gonna go to the movie. Okay. Though I have been one to be like, let's go to the movies. Mm -hmm. People are like, why would we go to the movies? We can't talk or learn about yeah. each other. I'm like, perfect. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's all I need to know about you. Um, if, we, if we can sit in silence for three and a half hours and you can listen to me chew popcorn, then exactly. baby, we are set. Especially if it's on a person I want to know yeah. about um, biopic wise. Yeah. Um, and then I would definitely f the rave. Yeah. Because remember, I did on New Year's Eve. I got. In the middle of the dance floor at the Abbey, and everybody watched. So don't you forget it, baby. Don't you forget. Um, I'll keep that one, and okay. then I'm gonna marry the comedy show okay. because I love comedy, and I think that's fun. Also, yeah. like I have been asking guys, tell me a joke, mm. like so I can know their comedy. Right. Um, that's a lot of pressure. I know the last the last person I asked, I was like, can you tell me a joke? And he said, knock knock. And I said, who's there? He said, can I eat your ass? And I was <laughs> like. Said that's yes, not funny. But that's not funny. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 So my next one is random. My two are random. I didn't have a theme. Okay. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so the first one is Coke Zero. Oh. Yeah, mama. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love soda. The second one is oh my God. Turkey Lunch Meat. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, these are staples in Nick's life. Um, and then the third one is Marry Me Chicken, oh. made by Nico. Oh, God. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, boy, this is hard. Yeah, so I have an addiction to going to Ralph's and getting a fat bag of turkey every single week or What'd two. What'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to like switch it up. I'm going to marry, marry me chicken. Cute. My boyfriend is a wonderful chef. He made me marry me chicken and he did not ask me to marry him, so... Anyway, let's move He's on. He's actually here <laughs> with a <laughs> ring. <laughs> um, I am going to um, 
Wow, I think this is crazy. I think I'm gonna F Coke Zero and ghost Turkey. Turkey is kind of like a girl from my past. I love her, I still eat her, but sometimes uh, sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I take a bite okay. and I'm a little bit like, that's a little chewy. Coke Zero is for life. So I'm gonna, or I'm just, yeah. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep effing Coke Zero and I'm gonna keep ghosting Turkey. And then maybe, maybe I'll, Turkey will come back around. Anyway, that's my answer. Final well, answer. If Beep. you weren't circumcised before after the Diet Coke can, <laughs> you're gonna be. <laughs> yes. Okay. And my last, my last category is um, <laughs> F Mary Ghost, your significant other having this allergy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like we did this a little differently. Okay. Yeah, we did. So your significant other has a gluten allergy. Okay. Okay. A dairy allergy. Okay. Or they're allergic to every animal. Oh, okay. I think I'm going to ghost. <laughs> I would ghost being allergic to animals because I think I, I really want a dog one day. Mm -hmm. And I would name my dog Sesame. How cute. cute. And then I could train the dog to open the door if I ever lock myself out and say, open <laughs> sesame. sesame. Beautiful. Love yeah, that. Yeah, really cute. Okay. And then I think I would ask. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. What? Yeah, I love it. No, no, what, no, you no, think no. you dairy because of the cream? No, I'm saying you can't. F dairy? Yeah. I guess I would. No, I guess I was going to say yeah. I would F dairy. Yeah. No, no. I would F <laughs> gluten, I guess. Yeah. Because. We can work around that. Yeah. Gluten, that's easy to do. Yeah. And then I guess I'd marry the Mary dairy. dairy. <laughs> Mary dairy. Mary dairy. Only because, like, I think I may be lactose intolerant. Oh, okay. That's but, good. But, like, too. in a way that's, like, it's, it's not that bad. It's not right. that bad, but I still eat it. Yeah. You know, okay. And then your last one now. Okay. And then <laughs> this one is daily walks. Oh, <gasps> yes. oh my God, these are so specific. Yeah, mama. And the second one is the word slay. I don't think I've said it once today. Slay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, and then the third one is the discography of Olivia Rodrigo. Wow. Yeah. Okay, this is terrible. Um, I think I'm going to easily ghost slay. I think I could work it out of my vernacular. Slay. Slay. I'm going to slay slay. Oh. <sighs> I see. Oh, yeah, did. you did. I'm going to uh, f the discography of Olivia Rodrigo. Work. Love to have a good time with her. Love Get to blast you. her. Forty five hours in a row. Just keep going at it. Love it. Um, and I'm gonna marry Daily Walks. I something about me. People call me the Walking Man of West Hollywood. I like to any free minute that I have. <laughs> Do they? Yes. Jake. <laughs> Jake called me that. Um, Who? Who? Oh, okay. Yeah. You can I don't know why I was really uh, saying this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I love to walk. If I have a free minute, I'm on my feet. I'm walking in circles. And I'm not walking anywhere. I literally walk in circles. One time a, a West Hollywood police officer on a bike pulled me over and was like, why are you always walking? <laughs> Did you know that? You say, why are you on a bike? Yeah, and I said, I said, shouldn't you be catching someone who's doing something bad? And yeah, then, like I, my ex hookup. <laughs> yeah, and then I said, slay, <laughs> and I walked away. Anyway, so that's mine. Okay, love that. Love that. Wait, that was fun. Wait, that was fun. Wait, so that was a lovely, you know, I, I loved I loved hearing about your history and your past and everything like that. I know. Actually, if anyone asks me about a dating horror story from now on, I'm going to talk about this podcast recording. <laughs> yeah. Because you like, were laughing at me, <laughs> yeah. and you were rubbing things in my face. Yeah. And I'm kidding. I love you yeah, so much. I love you so much. That but was no. really fun. Episode three in the bag. In the can, baby. Um, well, thank you so much for joining us on Breathe If You Agree. We've loved having you every single week. And obviously, as we said, you can subscribe on Past Your Bedtime on YouTube. Uh, make sure to comment below. Tell us who you want. Yes. Tell us who you want on the pod. Tell us what you love. Tell us what you didn't love so much. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. Yeah. And then also, yeah, also on Apple, on Spotify, please leave us reviews. We also want to hear from you. We want to hear about your love for us. And uh, you can find me on Instagram <laughs> at Nick. Yeah, Lehman. we want to hear how much you love us. <laughs> yeah. You better tell us um, <laughs> find me on Instagram at Nick Lehman and on TikTok at Nick Stop Talking um, my TikTok is at Julian Brzezinski and my Instagram is Julian Cookies also we want to do something a little fun and different if we would love to hear from you guys if you have any horror stories that you want to fill us in on or anything that you need advice on yeah we're going to have a, a dedicated phone number um, that is 657-206-7385 and we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear from you. We're not really qualified for the advice or, you know, but we will give, we will you give, it. We will give our it. opinion. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. 
If you're breathing, you're agreeing. We love you. We love you so much. See you next week.